Now we're going to talk about a particular kind of traveling wave called a sinusoidal wave. As its name suggests, the wave pulse in this case will be made out of a sine function, and that's what's going to be traveling either to the right or the left. We want to make a graph using the function sine of theta, and we know what that function looks like. If theta was plotted along the horizontal axis, it would have units of radians all the way along, and when theta is zero, the sine function is zero. When theta is about pi over two, the sine function rises to one and then goes back down to zero when theta is pi and so on. That's the graph of sine of theta. Now, this is defined for us in terms of inputs of angle. The technical term in mathematics is that theta is the argument of the sine function. It's measured in radians. One full cycle happens when we have a change in theta of about two pi. And so we can move that red arrow anywhere over here or over here, but that defines when we've gone through one full cycle, two pi radians. However, we would like to define our traveling wave or our wave function along the x-axis because that's where we measure real locations. So we want something that looks like along the horizontal axis x in meters. That means I need something that still allows my sine function to have an argument of radians and I need a constant proportionality to convert x into radians. So let's suppose at time t equals zero seconds, I want y of x to be a times the sine of, uh, of an argument. And again, I want the argument to be in radians. a will be the amplitude of the wave, but what's that constant k? Well, I know that one full cycle of the wave occurs when x gets out to as far as the wavelength. That's sometimes denoted by the Greek letter lambda. On this graph, lambda stretches from 0 to 10 meters, so it happens to be that the wavelength is 10 meters, but that's not always true for all waves. The constant k then converts that uh, length of x meters into radians, and the constant k tells us when a particular value of x corresponds to one full cycle. 1k times lambda is equal to 2 pi, we've gone through one full cycle because that's when the argument of the sine function will have gone through one full cycle. That means that we can actually deduce what this value for k is. The wavelength lambda is supposed to be the case when we go through one full cycle, and at x equals lambda we want to have 2 pi stuck into the argument of the sine function. Since we're constructing a wave function with a sine kx kind of form, we want k times lambda to equal 2 pi, or we can write that as k is 2 pi over lambda. We've just learned now what this, this constant of proportionality k is. It's 2 pi over the wavelength. This constant k is sometimes called the wave number, and it has units of inverse length, or radians per length. The larger k is, the quicker the sine function goes through one full cycle since sine of kx will oscillate faster per unit length. You can also see that if you look at k is 2 pi over the wavelength, the smaller the value for lambda than in this red box right here, the bigger the value for the k. So that says the same thing. 